Hi and welcome to the shave tank. I just had an excellent shave again with the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Mel Bolsch shaving soap. Thanks Douglas for pointing out how to pronounce that. And <clears throat> why did I shave again with that? Because I was talking to Douglas yesterday and uh, he said, well, you are the guy who said blooming is bad. I said, yes. He said, okay. Listen, it's not about the water on the soap, it's about the temperature. And that I should uh, take the um, tin of soap and put it in a zip bag, put it under hot water for like 5 to 10 minutes and see if that smells any better or worse or whatever. So today was Experiments Sunday because of course I wanted to see if there is something to it. And I didn't put the tin in the zip bag because I didn't want to spoil the whole soap because I find this soap to be absolutely awesome. <sighs> smells absolutely lovely. and. So I cut a little sample of it, put it in a zip bag and put that in the water. And it actually got quite kind of soft. And when I opened the zip bag to see how, how the whole thing is doing, um, many of the complex fragrances were gone and it smelled like uh, very cinnamon-like. There is a cinnamon undertone in here. But it was kind of all the other fragrances were pretty much gone. And I thought that can't be it. Douglas is a good guy. He's probably there is more to it. Maybe there's something wrong that I did. And then I actually thought, okay, now I have very hot tap water that may be actually too hot. Because my tap water uh, is uh, my, my warm water in my house is made uh, via solar energy. Uh, I have this uh, solar things on my uh, roof that convert this uh, directly into warm water. And today was a very sunny day, so I had around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius of water warmth. That is well below, I think, 130, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So, way too hot, I think, and that's why this sample didn't work out. And I was reading the back of the tin here, which you should do, and it says, performs best at 70 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I had no idea what Fahrenheit temperatures convert to, so I looked that up, and it actually says that's about 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. So 20 to 40 degrees in the middle would be 30. <laughs> that would actually uh, yeah, be like 5 to 7 degrees below body temperature. And I thought, well, thinking back on my chemistry studies, this is actually very reasonable for what temperature fragrances work best. So, or ex especially um, aromatic oils that you add to uh, <clears throat> make a fragrance, essential oils and stuff like that. So um, that's actually not a bad suggestion here. So how can I get this to the correct temperature? And for warming up um, uh, certain plastics and, and stuff in my cellar for, you know, this hockey stick stuff and, and all this, this Things I have a small oven that is very temperature exact uh, and for baking your hockey shoes and that, that kind of stuff. And <clears throat> so I put this oven on um, like 35 to 40 degrees and put another sample in there and took that out and that smelled absolutely awesome. Even better than. Uh, just opening the tin in my bathroom and smelling it. So I thought, okay, there is something to it. Douglas is right. 
there is something to this whole warming process. Now, of course, every time to go down to my oven, into the basement, warm the whole soap up and yeah, that's not very, uh, that's a little overdoing it, I think. So I wanted to find a better way and I thought back, well, actually it wasn't, it was actually the kind of good smelling after I lathered it up in my mug. And that was it. Douglas, I actually brought the soap to the correct temperature by use of this mug. Because what I do before I shave is I put very hot water, like, like I said, 60-65 degrees, um, in this mug and keep that water in there for like 5-10 to 10 minutes while I take a shower and, and all that stuff. Sometimes it sits in a little bit more. And when I come out of the shower, I ditch the water and the mug will probably be around 30 to 40 degrees. And I load the brush and when I put the leather and build the leather in the mug, the whole leather is warming up. So even when I put the leather on my face, it gets really nice and warm and, and the smell really explodes while leathering this whole thing up. It might even work better if I had a scuttle and I might try and order one just to test that out. But I think this is a very reasonable way for me to warm up the soap. So pre-warming the mug, of course you have to have some sort of ceramic mug or something like that that uh, keeps a lot of the heat. This one stays warm for for the whole shave, it's it's an excellent handmade ceramic mug uh, from uh, Schwarzweiß Keramik in in Germany. Um, costs like 25, 30 bucks, I think, and it keeps the heat really, really well. They make scuttles like this as well, as well. And I think I'm going to order one up um, just to see how that goes. And the smell. When the soap is like around this 30 degree, 35 degree mark, is actually really intensifying. All these uh, subtle oriental notes that are in this Melbourne uh, come really out and you have a really, really nice shaving experience. Um, putting the leather on your face and breathing that in and had a really nice shave, had put on some uh, pentatonics tunes and this was really relaxing, really awesome. So warming the whole thing up, yeah, it works. And I actually do it all the time because this is the way I leather it up and that seems to work for me pretty good. So Douglas, my friend, um, you're right. Fragrances have a optimum temperature where they work the best. I think this Melbourne uh, works awesome around 30 degrees and um, building the leather in my warmed up mug works really, really well. Um, I'm not going to bloom it, like I said, because I don't think that watering the soap too much is not good. Is, is good. I'm always leaving the pack to air dry for 25 hours before I close it up so that the whole scents and everything stays in there. I'm not a friend of over soaking the whole thing. But warming it up is a really good point Douglas. Thank you very much for bringing it up and I'm going to take care that the warmth of the leather is okay in my future endeavors and when uh, judging scents of, of soaps. Of course there are some simple soaps that uh, don't need that or uh, some icy soaps where I think uh, warming them up is uh, a little counterproductive that have very simple smells like the Barazzo Green. I love it, not that I don't uh, say that this is a bad soap, but uh, those I use of, often in the summer when I want a refreshing sensation that will probably not heat up and some of those are even face leather 
uh, quickly when I'm on a sailing ship and going around um, and don't have a lot of, of time to shave but you have to have some luxury of course and so I have to shave even when I'm on a, on a ship and yeah progresso green and quick face leather and two pass shave it works out really well so thanks Douglas for those suggestions uh, took me a lot of time today to test all this but it was great fun and was a great experience um, awesome th awesome thing and yeah I'm really looking forward to hear more from you and uh, maybe we can have a chat in the, in the in near future and uh, thanks everyone uh, for watching this and I hope uh, this was useful information for everyone that watches my channel so let's all high five thank you very much and until next time